Hey guys, it's Jamie here to tout the importance of getting brand name filament for your 3D printer. Here's the reason why. I just got this today. Uh, came off of Amazon, it's Hatchbox, well well known brand name. Here is uh, Brand X, solid orange uh, PLS or PLA. Uh, looks like it's okay, but it's not. And let me show you the difference. So I had another reel of the, the hatch box with orange and this is how the print came out and there was a little bit of sanding done on that but you can see some of the detail in there and it's not too bad there's you can see there's not very much as far as touch up on this uh, the back because I printed it flat I had to take the uh, the support off so that's why it's a little bit ugly looking on the back but that's not what we're looking at so uh, with this reel these are how the prints come out let me see if I can get some better light on this. So you see it's kind of spotty looking. And that's with a, a 1.2 millimeter skin on it. On the outside, which is pretty thick. And I'm still getting edges where... Um, if I bend this, I'm sure I can probably... Yeah, see, look at that. That's crap. That's absolute crap. So this, this spool is going back to the person that I bought it from. So if you take a look at this and push on it, it's got the same amount of infill, same, same skin thickness, and uh, this is pretty, pretty good. This has water in it. And in a second I'll show you why I know that. Uh, not only because of the way the skin comes out uh, on the outside, but it also clogged my printer. So now I gotta go through and take all and clean the nozzle out, the hot end, everything else. And um not quite happy about that. So this is going back. I'm gonna start printing some more triangle pieces for the body. Those are the uh circle pieces I've got done so far. Uh these will be all be molded in, in um uh, silicone rubber and uh done in fiberglass because uh not that I don't trust the plastic, but um I want something that's more robust for my BB-8 ball. So, so here's my hot end. It's an ugly mess. I tried cleaning it off, uh, tried getting uh, most of the end of the old piece of filament out, and I'm still working on it. So, uh, essentially what I gotta do is just basically clean out the inside, push a rod in there, a drill bit, get down and try and clean all that out, and it's, it seems like it's jammed. Uh, I'm guessing because of all the steam that was in, in the um, and the real, uh, the PLA, that it ended up clogging the nozzle because it cooled down or something. So when I came home, there was two prints that I had going. Uh, here's the other one that's not broken, but you can still see. Let me see if I can get this to macro here. It looks ugly. It's not very pretty looking. You should never get something that comes out like this on your 3D printer. I mean, there's holes in the thing and everything else and basically what that is, is as as the filament gets heated up in the water and the PLA uh, vaporizes it turns into steam out the end of the nozzle so it pushes all the little pieces out so you get a finish that looks like that not all that great so I'm going to switch over to my white send this orange back go buy from another buyer and um, that's your tip for the day guys so uh, if this has helped you out uh, with your 3D printing let me know because sometimes you get stuff like this and you're like, what, what's, what's this? I don't understand. That's what it is. It's water in your, in your PLA uh, reel. Anyways, uh, what experience have you guys had with prints? Uh, leave them in the comments down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching and do your thing.